My name is Chris Miracle, C-H-R-I-S-M-E-R-I-C-L-E. -E. Live in Hamilton County. I'd like to comment to you tonight uh, about Karst Rain Springs and our water resources. Uh, in Sable's Karst Mitigation Plan, they say a few things uh, that they found in doing their research. Number one, the Karst Mitigation Plan, section 2.3. HDD crossings. Quote, areas of karst activity pose, pose increased risk to the successful installation of pipelines by HDD. Section 2.31, lost drilling fluid returns. Quote, cave systems and spring conduits could be intersected. Sable's best drilling practices plan. Section 2.4, HDD contingency plan states three different attempts with multiple holes on it, each attempt could have occurred. These are, that could be possibly nine holes, three to four foot in diameter. And you damage that karst terrain, you can't mitigate that. Karst mitigation plan section 2.3.3 states HDD operations could trigger or reactivate sinkhole activity. Karst Mitigation Plan, Section 2.3.2, tooling and mainline pipe is strong enough to with, remain intact in voids up to 15 feet. Now they just said that uh, all this operation could trigger or reactivate sinkhole activity. How are they going to know if these sinkholes grow underneath this pipeline to much larger than 15 feet? How are they even going to know if they are, if, if they are larger than that when they install it? In the hydrology report by Florida certified geologist David Brown on the proposed with Coochie crossing in Hamilton County, he concluded that because of all the items I just listed above, listed just there, that the installation and operation of the proposed pipeline would have catastrophic consequences. And that's all in the FERC record. How can this be in the public interest? It's hard for me to understand how FERC, knowing all this, just this, has come to the conclusion in their draft EIS, and this is quote, this project would not result in a significant impact on the environment. I don't understand that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Maribel. Mrs. Deanna Maribel.